dear friends this is my tutorial 5 so in material studio in this tutorial you can learn how to make this kind of metal oxide and water interfaces for molecular dynamic simulation so this is actually tio2 110 surface this is the water cluster okay so in this tutorial i will tell you how to make this kind of interfaces for molecular dynamic simulation okay so for that we need to open our material studio software okay so before that i will show you one of paper so this is the paper jctc paper okay in this paper they used the rotate tio 2110 surface and they used the water molecule interface to study the molecular dynamics so this is the their system so we will make similarly like this okay okay now we will open our material studio so click ok then if you want to create new project just to create otherwise you can open with existing one just to click ok that's all so our material studio ready okay so now we want our tio to rotate bulk so for that go to file import structures and you can see different kind of things we want only the metal oxides here so click metal oxide different kind of metal oxide is there we want only the tio to rotate so rotate is there and brocade and annotate is there just click this one just open it so you should opening with the white background so we can change it into opening display option and I click background and this one change into black color so this is the line style we want to ball and uh, stick okay just to go to display style then go to your uh, line is there that you can click ball and stick then uh, reduce this increase this so yes good so one important things if you are not to do any dft calculation using this metal oxide metal anything you need to optimize your blood structure before doing to do anything okay so so now we will clear this uh, surface in bulk structure into 110 surface okay so for that first what you have to do so go to build here you can see crystal surface build layer symmetry these are the important things so we can choose this surface and clear surface so okay so here minus one zero zero is there so we want only one one zero okay so that is just to remove it minus and change this zero into one so this is the thing so now we need to adjust uh, we need to click the cleave if you click cleave the bulk structures now cleaved okay so for this is the one so now we want to increase our thickness okay this is the layer one so this layer two second layer this is third layer okay so we need to, if you want to how many layer you can increase based on your requirement okay so here i want to uh, i want some i will click it to so we want we are we are going to make a similarly like this so just i will adapt this yeah that's 0 0.39 this five you put you will get a similarly similar to that paper okay so you can also see so similarly i think we did not make a still supercell if you make supercell it will look similar okay so that's all so we made it uh, similar format so now what we have to do Mm, just to go to again build 
and go to crystal build vacuum slab okay now you can see here only 10 is there you can change into 20 okay then click build then close this one so now our cleaved one unit cell surface is ready okay so now we want to increase our cell size okay for that what you have to do again go to build symmetry super cell here you can change into 2 into 4 into 2 so i want 4 into 2 a is 4 b is 2 and c to 1 okay so if you click and create super cell means it will create okay so this is the our ti one one zero four into two super cell okay so and this is the things so now we will compare this system with uh, the reported one so one more things you have to do so you do right click your display style here you can see here uh, go to lattice you can see default style so we need to change into original you can also click in cell you uh, there also no need you can click original so if you click original this is the exact uh, things okay so you can also scratch check with that uh, reported paper yeah so if you see this so it looks similarly the same structure okay so likewise you can also try like this you can make your ta uh, to row hotel 110 surface okay it's very easy only then we can, we can use these things for our further so making water and ta to interface studies okay so that's all so we can rename this Rotate one one zero surface. Okay, okay, this is ready. So, if you want to save this file into zip format, just you can uh, go to file export. Okay, it one folder then here you can see sif so this is our sif file of uh, that tio to rotate 110 surface okay so that's all so thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also click the bell icon my future video update thank you thank you for watching enjoy dear friends this is my tutorial file in material studio part 2 okay last video we have learned how to create this tio to rutile 110 surface in the bottom one okay in this tutorial you can learn how to create these water clusters to keep in the top of the tio2 surface in order to do molecular dynamic simulation okay so this is the tio2 rutile 110 surface we already created okay so this is the vacuum length this vacuum vacuum length is around 20 armstrong okay so if you want to create a water molecule for this 20 armstrong you cannot uh, create that much length so we need to create at least a 17 armstrong okay then only the water molecule may not uh, merge inside the clusters okay that's why we have to give some small gap in between this interface then only we will see the interaction between this uh, ti02 and water okay if you keep this full length of uh, 20 armstrong length water molecule clusters so it will uh, merge okay it's, uh, uh, it will merge and it will uh, more steric entrance will happen in the near to the surface 
to avoid that one so we need to make around 17 armstrong uh, water molecule clusters okay so i will tell you how to make water molecule cluster 17 uh, armstrong water molecule cluster and we will keep there okay okay now we have to make a new file okay create a new one and 3d atomistic and uh, rename it into h2o Let's do okay. So you can draw water molecule here. Just click pencil. You select the atom already selected or oxygen atom. Okay. Just click it. Double click. It will go. Then you can right click. Display style. So ball and stick. And just do that. So increase if you want to the ball size. Otherwise decrease four is enough. So okay. So now we need, we have to remove one oxygen molecule okay oxygen atom so now just to click this h2 add uh, h2 add with the o atom okay that's our water molecule created so now we are going to create one empty cell okay so that need to cre uh, click uh, one one more then click a 3d atomistic so h2o cluster can type like this so now we are going to make h2 cluster here okay so for that we have to create one empty cell okay based on the uh, tio to this vacuum okay so for that what you have to do just to go to build crystal build crystal so here we can see lattice parameter is there so we need to copy that uh, to rotate 110 parameters okay so just to go there and you can go to build crystal rebuild crystal lattice parameters you can copy this uh, two parameters this 11.836 so here is 11 point eight three six so this is the we have already uh, already told now the 20 armstrong vacuum is there just we can create um, 17 okay 73 armstrong will reduce so then build so our system is uh, created our unit cell okay this is the our uh, unit cell so we are going to add our water cluster inside the uh, this cell okay so what we have to do that one so now we have to click this amorphous so if you want to uh, go to models you can see amorphous cell okay this you have to click if you want to see here also you can see this uh, symbol you can find here so if you want to use from the models you can uh, go to models amorphous cell go to calculation then you will get uh, this small one so here you can see different kind of construction and the packing and something okay you need to use packing okay so you need to use packing here you can skip medium is okay then the density this is very important so we are we are going to use water so water density is one okay that's why we keep one so here uh, you can see after that output you can leave it then uh, one is okay so here you need to uh, keep the path for your water one okay we already created h2o here just we have to click if you click means it will appear like this just to select that one highlight okay if i let it will work okay then run after uh, one or two minutes it will complete yeah i think uh, it's completed yeah it's like that will come and finally your uh, cluster uh, water cluster will be created okay so then click okay close it so your water cluster is ready so this is around 17 armstrong okay this is the amorphous so that water cluster uh, clusters 
so what we have to do just copy this okay now we will copy this one so before that just we can label this anyone in order to keep uh, the correct way so just click this one and right click go to labels and you can click name and apply okay this is the 100 atom number is 100 okay so now we will copy this water clusters select all and uh, can copy right click and copy so go to rotile one so just paste it okay just you can rotate so this is like this just you can keep So, so I told you now to keep 17 Armstrong means you will get some gap. So while doing molecular dynamics that will expand the water molecule. So then you can uh, get, uh, you can um, see some interaction between the DAO2 and the water molecule. Okay. That's why I told. So here also O, we also select this the O and red. So in that water cluster also, so what is there? So in that uh, O size, so we are made given that O hundred number so here also you can see exactly matching the size and that everything okay so that's all so now you, you can uh, save this file into c file c format and you can do your molecular dynamics okay so that's all so if you have any question just comment me i will answer that one no problem so that's all so if you increase this C now you can uh, display style will go then go to lattice so to increase C1 so see now our atom is have some gap in between this uh, top layer and the bottom layer so if we expand this water molecule so is it won't merge into that one that will have some more gap to relax okay vibrate so that's all. Okay, you can save this file as a zip folder. Then you can uh, save as a postcard file using Investor. Okay, see this is our TiO2 water cluster for molecular dynamic simulations. Okay, yeah, it's very nice. So you can save this into export data into postcard file. fractional okay so see so our postcard file is ready okay then you can fix the some bottom layers then do molecular dynamic simulation okay thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon on my future videos thank you thank you for watching enjoy your time